Get ready for an amazing adventure in the heart of Bangkok. We're about to take you on a whirlwind tour, showing you how to make the most of four incredible days in this lively city. Imagine strolling through the grandeur of the Grand Palace, soaking up the vibrant atmosphere of Khao San Road, basking in the tranquility of Wat Heron, and uncovering treasures at the Chadu Chak Weekend Market. We've got every exciting detail lined up just for you. Stick with us till the end for some amazing insider tips that'll make your trip even more special. And hey, if you love discovering new places, give us a like and subscribe for more awesome travel guides. Let's start this fantastic journey together! Best Time to Visit Bangkok The ideal time to visit Bangkok is between November and February, when the weather is cool and dry, offering comfortable conditions for exploring. This period, also the peak tourist season, brings mild temperatures ideal for outdoor activities and experiencing cultural festivals like Loi Kathrong and Songkran. For those seeking fewer crowds, the shoulder months of October and March are great alternatives, offering a balance of pleasant weather and lower tourist density. Bangkok Airport Tips Landing at Suvarnabhumi Airport, the gateway to Bangkok's wonders, prepare for an efficient yet bustling entry. To ease your arrival, consider booking a fast-track service for quick immigration processing. How to get around Bangkok Navigating Bangkok is an adventure in itself. The BTS SkyTrain and MRT are your best bets for avoiding traffic, with a one-day pass costing around 4 USD. Tuk-tuks and riverboats offer a more authentic and exhilarating way to explore, with fares typically ranging from 1 to 5 USD depending on the distance. Where to stay in Bangkok Bangkok caters to every type of traveler with diverse accommodation options across its districts. For a luxurious stay with stunning river views, the riverside area is perfect, while Sukhumvit offers a vibrant mix of nightlife, shopping, and dining for those seeking a lively experience. Siam is ideal for shopaholics, and Khao San Road attracts budget travelers and backpackers with its affordable options and bustling street life. Those seeking a local vibe might prefer Salam, and for a cultural experience, Bangkok and Chinatown are unmatched with their rich history and culinary delights. Day 1 – Exploring Bangkok's Treasures The Grand Palace and Wat Phra Kao, Temple of the Emerald Buddha The Grand Palace stands as a centerpiece in Bangkok's vibrant tapestry of attractions. Its worthiness as a must-visit site may spark debate, but it's an undeniable gem in any four-day Bangkok itinerary. Established in 1782, this majestic complex isn't just a palace, it's a historical mosaic featuring government offices, temples, and notably, Wat Phra Kao, or the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, one of Thailand's most sacred sites. Foreign visitors pay 1410 for entry, a fee that's well worth it for the chance to see its spectacular architecture and cultural significance. Visitors are advised to arrive early, around the 8.30 a.m. opening, to avoid the crowds and the midday heat. Adherence to a strict dress code is required for entry, both knees and shoulders must be covered, and tight clothing is not permitted. While sandals are generally accepted, carrying an extra pair of socks or sneakers is recommended just in case. Non-compliance with the dress code could mean missing out on one of Bangkok's iconic experiences. Insider Tip Be wary of common scams, especially false claims that the palace is closed, often used to redirect tourists to shops for commissions. Wat Pho, Temple of the Reclining Buddha Wat Pho, known as Bangkok's oldest and largest temple complex, is a mere 10-minute stroll from the Grand Palace, making it ideal to visit both landmarks on the same day. While Wat Pho also draws crowds, it's generally less hectic than the palace, so it's best to tour the Grand Palace first and then head to Wat Pho. The temple is famous for its vast collection of Buddha images, including the impressive 46-meter-long and 15-meter reclining Buddha, covered in gold leaf and featuring intricately decorated feet. Exploring the temple's gardens, filled with Chinese statues and ornate stupas, is also worthwhile. For those interested, Wat Pho hosts a renowned massage school where you can book a traditional Thai massage with a 30-minute session costing $9 and a one-hour session for $15.20. Wat Pho is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, 
and entry costs $565. As a sacred site, respectful attire is required, meaning knees and shoulders should be covered and loose-fitting clothes are preferred. Lunch. By meticulously following this four-day Bangkok itinerary, you'll manage to explore both the Grand Palace and Wat Pho in one morning. After your visit to Wat Pho, you're likely to be ready for lunch. This is the perfect opportunity to take a brief lunch break before continuing your temple tour. And yes, you'll be visiting quite a few temples over these four days. Around Wat Pho, you'll find numerous dining options. A popular choice near Wat Pho is the sixth, highly praised in reviews for its quality. However, note that it's closed on Saturdays. During our Saturday visit, we opted for Elephant Coffee, which turned out to be a delightful spot with delicious foods and excellent coffee. Definitely a recommendable alternative. For those looking to keep things quick and simple, grabbing some street food from a nearby stall is a great way to save time while still enjoying the local flavors. Wat Aran, Temple of Dawn. For first timers in Bangkok, Wat Aran is a must see. Known for its distinctive and stunning architecture, it stands out as one of the city's most intriguing temples. Located across the Khao Phraya River from Wat Pho, getting there involves a short boat ride. You can catch this boat from the Ta Tien Pier with tickets costing just 14 cents per person. These boats run frequently, so there's little concern about timing, and the journey to Wat Aran takes about five minutes. The temple's central feature is its decorated spires, with the main 82-meter tower offering stunning views of Bangkok and the river. The intricate designs of colored glass and Chinese porcelain are particularly mesmerizing up close. Wat Aran is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. With an entrance fee of 280, visitors are required to dress modestly, covering knees and shoulders, to explore this spectacular site. Khao San Road after a day filled with temple explorations, it's time to switch gears and enjoy some leisure. With no more temples on the agenda, feel free to change out of your modest attire and opt for something more relaxed. Your next destination is the bustling Khao San Road, a haven for backpackers and those with a bohemian spirit. This vibrant street is a treasure trove of shops, street food vendors, bars, and restaurants, making it an ideal spot to savor Bangkok's famous street food and relax with a beer or cocktail. As night falls, Khao San Road transforms into a hot spot for nightlife. If you're in the mood for a lively party scene and want to experience some of the best nocturnal activities Bangkok has to offer, you'll find it all here. Day 2. Discover Bangkok's Hidden Gems Bangkok National Museum Kick off your second day in Bangkok with a visit to the Bangkok National Museum, an essential stop for those interested in Thai culture. As the home of the country's largest collection of local art and artifacts, the museum offers a deep dive into Thailand's rich history. You'll find 12 halls displaying a range of items, from the Sukhothai and Ayutthaya periods to the contemporary Thai kingdom. Open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Wednesday through Sunday, the museum charges an entry fee of $6 per person. However, if museums aren't your thing or if you're recovering from a night out, it's perfectly fine to skip this stop and move on to other exciting activities in Bangkok. Loha Prasat and Wat Ratchanataram Loha Prasat, a hidden treasure in Bangkok, is a must-visit for those spending at least four days in the city. While it may not be as famous among tourists, this majestic golden temple, built in 1846, is a remarkable sight. It features 37 metal spires, each symbolizing one of the 37 virtues leading to enlightenment. Conveniently located adjacent to Wat Ratchanataram, it's easy to explore both temples in one go. Entry to the temples is free, though a small donation is suggested for those wishing to access the rooftop of Loha Prasat. The rooftop offers a stunning panoramic view of Bangkok, making it well worth the visit for one of the city's most spectacular vistas. Wat Saket, the Golden Mount The Golden Mount, also known as Wat Saket, is conveniently situated adjacent to Loa Prasat, allowing for an easy stroll from one site to the other. This shrine sits atop an 80-meter artificial hill, and reaching the top requires ascending 300 steps. Open daily from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., the entrance fee for Wat Saket is $2.80 per person. Wat Ben Chamabofit, the Marble Temple Today's final temple visit takes us to Wat Ben Chamabofit, 
also known as the Marble Temple. Set a bit away from the bustling city center, this temple offers a more tranquil and serene atmosphere, compared to its counterparts in Bangkok. Located just a five-minute drive from the Golden Mount, it's most convenient to take a taxi or a grab as public transport may be less efficient for this short distance. Renowned for its construction using Italian Carrara marble, Wat Ben Chamabofit presents a majestic sight. You might recognize its image from the Thai 5 baht coin. Open daily from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., the temple welcomes visitors for an entrance fee of just 140 per person. Chaduchak Weekend Market, Talad Rot Phai Night Market. A trip to Bangkok isn't complete without experiencing its famous night markets. And with four days in the city, you're likely to be over there over a weekend. I suggest heading to the Chaduchak Weekend Market, the world's largest open air market and a fantastic evening activity in Bangkok. Chaduchak boasts over 15,000 stalls, offering an array of items from clothes and accessories to books plants, pets, home decor, and furniture. To reach the market, you can take a taxi or grab, or use the SkyTrain, a lighting at Mochit BTS station. The market operates from 6 p.m. to midnight on Friday and from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. Insider tip. If your visit falls between Monday and Thursday, the Chaduchak market won't be an option. Instead, try the Talad Rotfai Night Market, another tourist favorite. Open from Thursday to Sunday between 5 p.m. and 1 a.m., it's easily accessible, located near the Thailand Cultural Center MRT station. Day 3 – Bangkok's Vibrant Adventure Dom Nguyen Sudowak Floating Market Time flies and it's already day 3 of your 4-day Bangkok adventure. Today, we're branching out from the city to explore two of Bangkok's most distinctive markets, the Dom Nguyen Sudowak Floating Market and the Maeklong Railway Market. For the adventurous, navigating a scooter through Bangkok's bustling traffic to these markets can be an exhilarating experience. However, given that both markets are about a one and a half hour drive from Bangkok, a more convenient and stress-free option might be to join an organized tour. We chose a guided tour that visits both markets. Starting at 9 a.m., this timing is perfect as the markets are less crowded in the morning and the weather is cooler. Dom Nguyen Sudowak, while being the most famous floating market in Bangkok, does tend to feel a bit touristy and commercialized. But despite this, the experience of visiting a floating market is quite unique and worth including in your Bangkok itinerary. At the market, you'll take a 20-minute long-tail boat ride through a network of canals, passing wooden houses and vendors selling a variety of items from their boats. Like the Chaduchak Weekend Market, you'll find an array of goods for sale here, but shopping is entirely optional. For a taste of local flavors, I recommend trying the mango sticky rice or coconut ice cream, both delicious and reasonably priced. Maeklong Railway Market Just a short 25-minute drive from the Domno and Suduak Floating Market, the Maeklong Railway Market is a must-visit. If you're on a guided tour, you'll be shown how to get there and then have a few hours to explore and grab lunch at the local food stalls. Maeklong Railway Market is unique for being set on active train tracks. Several times a day, vendors quickly pull back their stalls and awnings as a train passes through, creating a fascinating spectacle. This swift transformation of the market to accommodate the passing train and then reverting back to normal is a captivating experience. Although the train moves slowly and closely past the goods and people, it's safer to watch without touching it, adding to the allure of one of Bangkok's most unusual and interesting attractions. Siam Paragon Icon Siam our tour, which began at the Siam Paragon Mall, offered a flexible return with the option to alight either at Icon Siam or Siam Paragon. Both choices are equally appealing, as each mall is vast and brimming with a variety of intriguing shops. Typically, market tours wrap up by early afternoon, allowing ample time for a leisurely exploration of these malls. This is an excellent opportunity to delve into some of Bangkok's premier shopping destinations. It may seem unusual to recommend shopping malls as a key attraction in Bangkok, but they truly are significant. These malls are not just shopping centers, they're bustling social hubs frequented by both locals and tourists. Even if shopping isn't your main interest, 
these malls are worth a visit for their extensive range of stores and food courts offering a taste of Thailand's finest dishes. You can easily while away a few hours here, immersed in the vibrant atmosphere. Unicorn Cafe Have you heard about Bangkok's whimsical Unicorn Cafe? Ever since glimpsing its pictures on Instagram, it is an absolute must visit. Stepping into the cafe is like walking into a childhood fantasy, with its pink and blue oversized furnishings and an abundance of fluffy unicorns. For an extra bit of fun, you can rent a unicorn onesie for $2.80, perfect for snapping some hilarious photos while indulging in rainbow waffles and sipping a cotton candy milkshake. If quirky themed cafes aren't your thing, you might prefer spending more time in the city's shopping malls. However, I highly recommend giving it a chance. Day 4 Bangkok Skyline and Heritage Ancient Siam Ancient Siam, also known as Samut Prakan Ancient City or Muang Boran Museum, is the world's largest open air museum and was the highlight of my four day Bangkok itinerary. For those looking to venture on a day trip from Bangkok, this is the one I highly recommend, even for those who aren't typically museum enthusiasts. Spanning over 200 acres in a layout resembling the shape of Thailand, the ancient city is vast, making it a challenge to explore entirely in a single day. It features over 120 replicas of Thailand's key historical sites, including temples, palaces, pavilions, and floating markets, set amidst beautiful gardens, fountains, and ponds creating a serene atmosphere. The entry fee is $20 per person, but it's a worthwhile investment. Given the expansive grounds, walking through the entire park isn't feasible, but free bicycles are available at the entrance, making exploration much more manageable. For those less inclined to cycle, renting a golf cart or using the shuttle buses are convenient alternatives. Plan to arrive when it opens at 9 a.m. and spend the whole day to fully experience the site. Reaching ancient Siam can be a bit complex. You'll take the BTS SkyTrain to Kahea Station, then transfer to a local Sung Tao 3036 to the museum. Alternatively, a taxi or grab can be used, but it's more costly due to the distance from central Bangkok. A practical option is to combine the BTS SkyTrain with a short taxi ride for the final leg of the journey. Rooftop Bar As you reach the finale of your four-day Bangkok journey, what better way to cap it off than with a stylish evening at one of the city's chic rooftop bars? It's the epitome of a grand Bangkok conclusion. The city is renowned for its array of rooftop bars, each offering spectacular 360-degree views. A notable spot is Octave, atop the Marriott Hotel Sukhumvit, where you can soak in panoramic cityscapes. Other popular options include Sky Bar Bangkok and Vertigo, each providing their unique ambiance. While indulging in a rooftop bar experience in Bangkok might not be the most budget-friendly activity, it's a perfect treat to conclude your adventure. It's not just about the drinks, it's about the unforgettable night views of Bangkok, making it a must-do, especially for first-timers in the city. As our exhilarating four-day journey through Bangkok comes to a close, we hope you've been captivated by the city's vibrant culture, stunning temples, and bustling street life. From the tranquil dawn at Wat Aran to the lively nights on Khao San Road, Bangkok has shown us its many faces, each one more enchanting than the last. If you've enjoyed this journey and are eager for more travel insights and adventures, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We're constantly exploring new destinations and can't wait to share more travel stories and tips with you. Thank you for joining us on this unforgettable Bangkok adventure. Keep wandering, keep wondering, and until our next journey, Swaz de Krub.